Now, your first alert forecast with meteorologist Corey Thompson. Early this afternoon, we had the Sapadapaso Parade in downtown Cedar Rapids. You can see those flags waving in the wind. There was a bit of a breeze, of course, always a bit of a wind tunnel downtown. Hey, look, there's TV9 Scott Sable on a bike with some of his family members. Candy was handed out, and it was a pretty good turnout, all things considered, especially with chilly temperatures. And we thank everyone for coming out to have some fun. It's a little fun out there right now if you like snow, because we do have snow occurring, and it will continue to occur for the next little while, at least through the evening, maybe even lingering a bit longer than that in terms of impactful snow. A few flurries possible later tomorrow, too, so we're not going to get rid of it right away. Now, road conditions have started to deteriorate a bit as we started the show. They were closer to our western fringe, now including as far east as Iowa County under partially covered roadways, and as well as Winnesheek and Alamakee counties in northeast Iowa, where some cooler temperatures have been found as snow falls, and that's not too surprising. And look at Interstate 80. at It's overpass with Highway 6 there. A little bit of shaky in the wind, snow falling, but the road looks generally wet, and that would go with our road conditions from the DOT. This is the Mobile Weather Lab heading down Interstate 380 with plenty of snow falling. You can kind of see right there in the center of the lane outside of the tire tracks on the shoulder. A little bit of slushy accumulation starting to show up there too. So certainly want to take it easy around the area. Interstate 380 at Highway 20 in the Waterloo Cedar Falls area. Even this flyover ramp here looks fairly clear, but that's one of those spots that will obviously get slick first. And our view from Dubuque with snow falling, or at least a little bit, they certainly saw a heavier burst earlier this afternoon, too. Temperatures are right near freezing or just above. That's why we've seen that marginal accumulation on paved surfaces as road temperatures remain warm, too. But that will start to change over the next few hours. Pinpoint Doppler radar shows the heaviest band from Cedar Rapids down the Highway 218 corridor in southeast Iowa. A bit of a gap there to the west, and then more snow moving in toward Tama, Pawashik, and Mahaska counties, and that will be continuing to move to the east through the night. So we're expecting at least a few more hours of activity. By 7 or 8 o'clock, it starts to see the back edge moving across the TV9 viewing area, and by about 11 or 12 is when things will really start to taper off. It'll be much more scattered from there with cloudy skies continuing. As we head through the day on Sunday, more clouds move in after what could be a very brief break in the morning, and by the afternoon, flurries or even a few snow showers possible. Still in line for 1 to 3 inches of snow with this activity. Again, totals will vary based on where you fall with those heavier bands, but overall, some slushy accumulation seeming possible. Tonight, temperatures will continue to fall. We'll be in the 20s, 26 in Charles City, 30 in Iowa City, with snow likely at least early on, with winds on the north between 5 to 15. During the day tomorrow, a few flurries possible under cloudy skies. 33 in Manchester, 34 in Washington. Clouds the great equalizer there. Now, don't forget, you need to switch your clocks ahead tonight. Those that are not under the automatic control that so many are now. That is at 2 o'clock this morning. It's a shift in daylight, night again, and that's as we move forward. It's daylight time. It's back. Sunlight will be out later tomorrow night. In fact, everywhere in eastern Iowa sees a sunset after 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. So get ready for that. Temperatures will be in the 30s for the next few days, 50s by Wednesday into Thursday. That's as a storm system approaches. It'll give us a brief break from cooler temperatures, but it won't be long before we're back in the 30s and 40s again by next weekend. St. Patrick's Day itself could have a few snowflakes on the tail end. I was grateful the snow held off until this afternoon because this morning it, yeah. was, it was cold, but at least no snow. Yeah, absolutely. We were calling for a dry parade and it held out, even though the radar looked a little ominous at times. But dry air was our friend today for the parade goers. Yeah, it was a great turnout, too. A lot of fun to see everybody. Yeah, it seemed like people had a great time. Yeah. Thanks, Corey. Yeah. And you can keep up to date with today's weather conditions with the First Alert Weather app. It's available for free on both iPhone and Android devices.